All right, so um, I'm filming this shortly after I just did my uh, pro wrestling crate and my Dan Housen box. Um, I told you, if you saw the end of that video, I said there was something else I wanted to show. But, um, took care of some stuff. So here we go. <clears throat> I am a very big fan of the Rocky Horror Picture Show. I worked in the theater for three years that showed it every weekend. I know almost every line, most of the audience participation lines, some audi variant audience participation lines. I've had the soundtrack on cassette, CD, I have it on vinyl. Uh, there's a group around, or troupe, uh, acting troupe that does it every Halloween-ish time uh, down here. And I've been going to them for years. Um, so, <clears throat> when I found that the touring show was coming around for the 49th anniversary, uh, 2025 Rocky Horror Picture Shirt, Rocky Horror Picture Show turns 50, it came out in 1975, um, but the 49th anniversary spectacular, whatever the hell it's called, um, they had a touring group going around with the shadow cast. Now, if you're not familiar with it, while the movie is playing on the screen in the background, there's people that actually act out the movie on the stage in front of the screen. So, like I said, I'm a fan. Very big fan. Um, Tim Curry, Susan Sarandon, Barry Boswick, Meatloaf, before he did Bad of the Hell. Um, incredible cast. I got myself VIP tickets because I found out that Barry Bostick was going to be doing a meet and greet. So, yes, I scheduled my lunch specifically to run out of my facility, get on my phone, and score me some front row VIP tickets to for the meet and greet and for the show. Uh, what that led to was this VIP Rocky Horror Picture Show with Barry Bostwick lanyard. And placard, nothing on the back side. But we could also signing autographs for, you know, blah, blah, blah. You all know me, I'm a pop guy. My pop and got it signed. Damn it, Jeff, I love you, Barry Boswick. Um, he personalized it. I didn't ask him to. I was, you know, if you even wrote Damn it, Janet, I love you, but, you know, because it's the song from the movie. But this is Barry's actual signature. I have a picture with him. I don't do all the good editing and shit for YouTube. The only one I'm missing is Janet. I have Frank, I have Brad, I have Riff, I have Magenta, I have Columbia. I mean, it's, I, this is damn near mint, and now it's signs. Uh, what made the evening even more special, I was the first in line. So, first one to meet Mr. Boswick, um, shook his hand, got a picture, got that my pop signed. <clears throat> After my meet with him, I went downstairs to look at the lobby because there was a guy who had some souvenirs, but like official stuff. And I'm talking to him for a minute and he has international, you know, um, uh, what? not full size posters, but the like the, the, the 10 by 11s or some 11 by 15, whatever the hell it is, uh, just bigger than a sheet of paper. Um, international movie posters, stuff signed by Barry. Um, he had uh, one or two of the original costumes on display. And I'm just talking to the guy for, what, 10, 15, 20 minutes. Finally, I, I take my seat, show starts, and he comes out on stage. Ends up being the president of the damn RHPS fan club. I'm like, dude, I didn't... <laughs> blew my mind. So he comes out, he... Uh, does his spiel to entertain, you know, hype up the crowd. He brings out Barry. Barry comes out, and they kind of tag team questions and stuff like that, Q&A. <clears throat> um, what made the night is there's a scene, if you've ever seen Rocky Horror, at the end where the floor show, and Brad Majors lifts his leg, and that was one of the questions. The president of the fan club asked Barry, Barry Boswick, uh, can you do still do the floor uh, leg lift? He said he didn't know. Of course, people start egging him on. I'm in the front row. I'm one of the first people to yell, do it, do it, do it. And um, they both look at me and say, come on up here. So I actually had whew, a little bit of a, a 
yeah, I had stage time with Barry Boswick where he laid down and little, you know, verbal verbal chat, and I <laughs> assisted him with his leg lift. But uh, that was it was just fun. It was funny. Uh, thankfully, I knew people that were in the audience, and uh, they sent me the clip. It's about a two minute clip. Like I said, I don't do the fancy editing. I would share the picture of me and Barry. Um, it's on my Instagram and my TikTok, if you want to look. Headquake Jr. Um, just scroll through and you'll see it. But uh, that's it. I just want to share Spaniard and this. Now, I did see somebody else share that next year for the touring, um, touring group. Hopefully they bring back the same shadow cast. That would be cool. Uh, but when I heard, they're supposed to have um, Patricia Quinn and Little Nell, who played Magenta in Columbia. So that would be cool if they both go. I mean, obviously I would definitely get VIP ticks and be the first in line to meet them too because I have their pops and got to get that shit signed too. Um, it would probably be impossible to get Richard O'Brien and Tim Curry, especially in their condition. I know Tim Curry, uh, since his stroke, he's doesn't do the convention scene much anymore. And I don't know about Richard. I, I know Richard O'Brien is a Brit guy, so he probably still lives in the UK, and it would just probably be damn near impossible to get him to sign that. Anyway, thank you for listening to me. Thank you for uh, looking this. Do you like Rocky Horror? Um, what do you think of the pop? And uh, that's it, y'all. All the begging shit. Like, comment, please. Let's interact. Godspeed. Love y'all. Till next time.